watch this now, it's all over the place. Right. It's so true. It, it, it's all over the place. And a lot of uh, people who started out in the industry, they said that we have cheapened the industry. Right. When they say we, I consider myself that as well because when I train people, I don't charge as much as I was charged. Right, right. Um, but also, it was giving other women opportunities to either use it as a side gig mm -hmm. or I have girls who went on to open up their own businesses. Yeah. So, you know, I don't think we cheapened it at all. So, what made you come back home? Ooh, I saw a market for stuff. Right. I saw a lot of, um, because when I was in Atlanta, I wouldn't come home. I started coming home probably like two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I started coming home doing eyelash extensions. Right. So I saw a market for it, and I saw a lot of people would go to Atlanta right. to get services done. And I was like, well, I can bring Atlanta to Mobile. And that's what I started doing. Yeah, that's what I started doing. Um, so you brought it all home. Brought it all home. I saw a market for it. And a lot of people, such as yourself, Women, very inviting, very, um, and it seems like it was a need and right. a want for it, right. you know, um, a great, you know, follow in service. So how long have you been here now? Uh, almost two years. Yeah. Almost two years. I remember when you came back, I didn't, I didn't, um, uh, meet you when you first came back, but I think after a year after you've been here, yeah, right. that's when we met. I started getting the lashes, and yes, my lashes be popping <laughs> when I get them done. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, as far as the services that are provided here at Candy Lash Wax and Wellness Bar, what are all the services you provide? Of course, the eyelash extensions. We do full body waxing, specializing in Brazilian waxing. We also do the body contouring. Uh, that's with the laser white oh, the ultrasonic cavitation, um, the sauna bag, the vibration plate. And what our biggest thing has been is the majesty. The majesty. Oh, the majesty. Let's get into the majesty. Yes. Like I, that's pretty new to the area. Yes. Um, a lot of people don't know about it, but it has been around a long time. Um, as far as give us some insight on that, as far as the benefit of it, uh, what it does to the body, and all that. Basically, this is what I tell people to break it down in layman's terms. I ask people, have you ever had a facial before? And when you get a facial, you notice that the esthetician, they would cleanse your face first, and then they'll put the steam. The steam is going to open up the pores. Mm -hmm. So the product can get into the pores. Your vagina has pores down there. It's a membrane as well. So we use all these different types of herbs. We got like 20, almost 30 herbs that we use. And the herbs... Whatever issue that the women are dealing with, we ask, you know, whether or not it's a bacteria infection, yeast infection, to tighten those muscles up, to bring, some women have too much lubrication, some women don't have enough lubrication, but we like to package it, whatever issue, because each woman is different. Based on their need. Based on the need, uh, and we treat that and also prevent that from reoccurring. But you can't, you will see the difference after one steam. But I normally recommend to women, just like you may have a monthly cycle, you want to get those done monthly as well. It's just a, it's a cleanse that you, I can't describe, that you will feel. You know, we clean the outside of our bodies and the outside of our vagina. Mm -hmm. But once you have those pores opened up and you get cleansed on the inside, it's a whole different feeling. A whole different feeling. You feel rejuvenated. You feel rejuvenated. Some women, I don't hear some stories. Right. right. You know what I'm right. saying? How they, I mean, after they After leave, the fact. How they feel after. The husband can't keep their hands off of them. Yeah, they can't keep their hands off themselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know. You know what I'm saying? They can't keep their hands off themselves because it's like, it's just a, I think a liberation. It's like liberation. Right, right. One girl saying when she left, she said, I just felt so liberated. I would have got my nose pierced. Okay. <laughs> hey. Cheers to the liberation. You know, cheers. She's out there feel like doing something. something just know. something new. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. As far as the candy pearls, what's the difference? Is that the, you can do that at home. Like, what's the difference from the candy pearls? Okay, the pearls. These are the detox pearls. I don't know. Um, it's a lot of controversy on that. And I think it's because people don't know. And, you know, a lot of people, they'll go online and people have horror stories. People may have a horror story on a towel 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. People have horror stories. Everything, I don't care what it is, it don't work for everyone. Right. But with the pearls, I wish I had an example of how small they are. Uh, the pearls are so small. But what that is, how can I say this? You know, some people say that the vagina is self cleansing. Right. And it is if it's in the optimal health. Right. The optimal, thank you, thank you. <laughs> the optimal health meaning that we're not eating fast food, we're not drinking. We're not stressed out with the daily, daily life. We don't have trauma, uh, sexual trauma, or emotional trauma to our vagina. And as a woman, you know, we take on a lot. Right. right. So if we didn't have all those issues going on, of course, the vagina is self-cleansing. But this is not, we need a little assistance. Right. So with these pearls, and I had one girl, and we don't show all the pictures that some people, the only time I post the pics, if we get permission. Right. Because, you know, the internet could be, sometimes when people don't know, they can be very cool. Right. You know, but the pearl is just this tiny. It's very, very, very tiny. And inside this pearl is different type of herbs. Mm -hmm. So what the female does in the comfort of her own home, mm -hmm. she lays back on the bed and insert this inside of her vagina until you feel that little drop. The little drop is your uterus. And this is the stream that's hanging from it. Mm -hmm. So you keep that in there anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. After that, you remove it. Now, what's inside of you, I don't know. Right. The only thing I do is provide this if you want to detox that, that wound out. Right. So a lot of women have uh, dead uh, vaginal uh, tissue. Mm -hmm. It could be yeast buildup. Sometimes people have uh, pulled out. It's like when it's really black inflammation mm -hmm. uh it's just one girl she had just had uh, a miscarriage uh -huh. and she all of a sudden what you know they did a dnc on her but, but when she out. used these pearls the rest of the stuff that started you know coming out some women are ashamed to uh even share with me what came right. out right but this is what i'm i want this candy lash wax the wellness bar this is a place where women don't have to feel ashamed of anything Whatever goes on up in here stays in here. Right. It's it's more like a, a girl's power. Right. You know, I mean, whatever, because a lot of women go through different, you may be going through something, we may be going through the same thing, but you think that you're the only one going through it. Right. But we want to have a place where we can come and we share the information. We have older women, we have young women come through here, all ages, because for some reason it's a taboo that women don't talk about the health of uh, their vagina. That's true, that's you know? true. And, um, so that's why, that's what we are building here. And we wanna know? take the stigma away where right. women feel confident, you know, well, comfortable, and then yet after the conversation, confident in, what, in their self and what, what's going on and how to deal with it, how to deal. And, not, and, and I'm not gonna take it anywhere or you take it anywhere. And girl, you know what she said, she, she got this going on. That's, this is not the place for that. Right. We, we don't we don't have right. that here. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Because we I mean yeah. it's not any places like that because you know people like you say may not feel comfortable and then they be like I ain't going in there because this this and that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's a good thing. It's right. a good thing. So women, yeah. this is a safe haven. Yes. For you. Yes. <laughs> okay. You offer fifty. You the home or the fifty five dollar lecture. Yes. On Mondays and Tuesdays. Right, that's what I was going to say. Let them know what days. It ain't every day. But let them know what days, which she, she just told you, Monday and Tuesday. And what, what made you come up with that? I, it's a niche. Like, that's your thing. Yes. What made you come up with that? When I first came here, mm -hmm. when I first came home, that was uh, a grand opening thing for me. And I used it because by me doing lashes for such a long period of time, mm -hmm. People say, you don't make no money off that. I can do a full set of lashes in 30 to 45 minutes. Right. So, and the girls who I trained that work for me, I trained them how to do that as well. Not only that, eyelash extensions were for the elite people. Right. The people who you see on TV, the celebrities who can afford eyelash extensions. And it was a don't ask, don't tell. That's how I was trained. My clientele in Georgia were Asian women, white women, or uh, Hispanic women. Mm -hmm. You would never know, even on commercials, you don't know that they are wearing eyelash extensions 
And the purpose of eyelash extensions is for people not to know that you're wearing false lashes. Right. Uh, to know that you're not wearing false lashes. So when I was trained, oh. or when I trained someone, I don't, you know, I train them, you know, I, w I don't want to look at you. I may want to say, oh, your lash is so beautiful. Right. Not, oh my gosh. Uh -huh. She wearing false lashes. Right. That's not eyelash extensions. Right. Those are what you call eyelash enhancements. Gotcha. So, and people used to think I was being sarcastic. They say, do you do individuals? I was like, no, I do extensions. Because it's a difference. You can buy individuals from the beauty supply store. Right. One by one. But it's the application. You're placing it at the base of the lash strand by strand. And it does take anywhere when you're starting out, anywhere from two hours to two hours and a half. Women, if you're starting out doing lashes and you're taking two or two and a half hours, please don't charge nobody fifty five dollars. Charge them a hundred dollars or more because it takes time. Right. I charge that amount because it don't take me that long. Right. Because you're you you're skilled. I'm skilled, but if you're starting out and if you invested in your craft or a service you're providing, don't charge fifty five dollars. Right. And leave somebody on the bed three or four hours because then they're coming back. Right. Ain't coming back. That's true. They're not coming back. So that's why I started fifty five dollars. And she's quick because I come on my lunch break. Right. And I'll be done and back to work in time. And I wanted to be affordable. And I wanted women. Basically, all of our services here are affordable because I wanted this to be included in your budget. Right. I don't want. I didn't want women to be like you know what. When I get my income tax check, I go get my lashes done or I go get this done. No. We need to keep our, it's the upkeep, you know. Right. You come in here, you get your lashes done, you get a wax under $100. That's what's up, because guess what? There's women that out here want it, but they don't have the money to do it. Yeah. And if they were in Atlanta or anywhere else, they can't get it. They won't be able to get it. At all. No, and it, I mean, there ain't no shame without $100. $100, $100 here, $100 there. But Atlanta is the home of the $35 Brazilian wax. Right. It is, because the Brazilians actually do it, right? What you say? Now, uh, it, and what's her name? Andrea Wax. By, Brazilian Wax by Andrea. She actually went to aesthetic school with me. Oh, really? Yes. So, now waxes were $85 to $105 mm -hmm. until she started doing the $35 wax. Because if you Brazilian, I'm going to the Brazilian who was doing the Brazilian wax for $35. Right. So that made everybody break the prices. Gotcha. Because my cousin stayed in Atlanta, and when I was first introduced to waxing, and I was going to go with her that day, I chickened out, but there it was $35. $35. And not only $35 being in speed wax. You gotta get, and you gotta know how to make your money for it to be thirty five dollars. Speed waxing, you want to have that client in and out no less than ten minutes for thirty five dollars. Seven minutes speed waxing, thirty five dollars. Now, of course, people I always say if it takes you more time, then yes, you want to charge more because that's your time. Right. But when you, if you're skilled and trained to do it in a less time period, you want to be able to get more clients in, and you want to be able to profit off of the service that you're providing. Right, yes. Right. And body contour, you do body contour. Body contour. So what all, like, what can they get? I, you know, most women gonna have surgery, but this again is another economical choice. But they still have to come see us after the surgery too. Ah. Because, the, okay, two things with the body contour. Body contour is for women who just want, if you can't afford the, traditional surgery. Even with the traditional surgery, you still have to do your part. Right. You may, and you gotta, when you get it done, you gotta still exercise, you have to eat right. With the body contour, you, it's gonna take a, a it, it's not gonna happen in one day. It's gonna happen in sessions, but you still gotta do your part. Right. You know, um, the body contour, we do the laser lipo. I'm gonna start off with that. The laser lipo is the leaves that we use. And it's for people who have cushion cause, because it penetrates 10 times more uh, beneath those fat cells uh, using the radio frequency 
to break the uh, fat down. And I call it a lymphatic drainage. Mm -hmm. a lymphatic drainage is when you're gonna eliminate the waste through your urine or your stool. Okay. Okay, so that's for people who have more cushion. Like uh, ultrasound and cavitation, that's one of my favorites. The ultrasound and cavitation, it does three things. It not only breaks down the fat and does the lymphatic drainage, it also tightens up the skin and it reduces the appearance of stretch marks if you have stretch marks. So it does three things. Okay. I normally recommend that uh, people do that in combination uh, because you will see major results after that. Right. And I recommend people, uh, to, when you start out, just do three sessions. Our sessions here, three sessions for 150. We like to show you that it actually works. And when you're trying to get rich off you, but our, our passion is seeing you see that these services actually work. You know, that's the passion we have. Because that's the most important thing, and that what, that's what keeps people coming back. Right, that actually works. So uh, we have some people who come, we have the vibration plate. The vibration plate, you know, you get on there for 10 minutes, it's the equivalent of you working out. Say like you running probably like three to five miles a day. And that's just 10 minutes. Same equivalent. Same equivalent. Okay. So you're getting that workout in still right. after, which that's the part of doing your part uh -huh. after getting the cavitation or the any other body. Yeah, we do that afterwards. Okay. Uh, that's like a, a complimentary service afterwards. Gotcha. Now, the women, they do have to come after they have their traditional surgery done because we do the lymphatic massage. Um, you know, a lot of times, um, some of the ladies that go to doctors in other states right, and or other countries, right. normally it'll be packaged in your surgery package that you have to get these massages. Mm -hmm. But if you're in another country, another state, mm -hmm. You, 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 and it's imperative. I tell, I tell the ladies a lot of times, and it's so unfortunate. When you save up for your surgery, save up for your post-operative care because that's just as important as the surgery. A lot of times, those women who have those, um, some people say, "Well, she died or she did this." You got to do your post-operative care. That's so important because you can get uh, blood clot, right? Uh, scarring, scar right. tissue, it gets hard up under there, and the long run, you start to have health issues. But I always recommend, say, utilize your app, save that money for your post-operative care. Right, because that is important, very important. Okay, what would you say um, are the key things that keep you motivated in such a competitive industry? You know what, I, I used to, one thing about this, you have to think of ways, creative ways. Okay. Uh, what to bring to your customers or to whatever. But you know what, just, I don't know. I can't even, a lot of people have a formula for it. I don't even have a formula for it. You just it. do it. I just do it and then I, my motto is, what's for you is for you. That's true, you know? But you still have to put in work. That's true. Yeah. I don't have a formula for it really. I just do it. And I think I'm good. Could be, I'm a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that, you know what I'm saying? Because I've always been a risk taker, right? And starting a business, you definitely, you're definitely taking a risk. You're definitely taking a risk, opposed to having that weekly, by weekly check. Right. That was going into one of my next questions, as far as the the challenges or the the guts to sustain a business, like. What is it like? What what challenges come, and how have you dealt with sustaining in the business? Uh, I have honestly, I have a mentor. I also have a business coach. Uh, the most important also is having a team, right? Having the right team, uh, and your team is only going to be as good as you are and they're only going to be as motivated as you are that's right and as passionate as you are right so as far as that bye -bye, bye -bye, um a mentor and a business coach you know what i never heard nobody say that yeah a business coach uh my business coach she not my friend she not she i mean just like a football coach she gonna give it to you raw i'm good no, and then sometimes 
I get, you know, hey, because by me being a business on a business, don't we think we know it all? Right. But she's like, no, you ain't doing enough. You need to do this, you need to do this, you know. And I may tell her, well, you know, where I'm at, I'm in my bed. She said, eh, that don't mean nothing. You got to set the standard, you got to set the bar. Okay. You want to be able to, she said, stop looking at your local level. Right. We're talking about international. Exactly. Stuff. You know, so exactly. she be, I mean, I get a business, a, a coaching call every week. That makes sense. You yeah, make all sense in the world. You gotta invest it. You gotta you invest in exactly. yourself too. You do. You really do. Yeah. You do. As far as those ladies that want to, you know, get in this industry, want to pursue or do, doing lashes, you know, whatever services you provide, do you offer classes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I offer classes. Uh, eyelash extension classes. Uh, I have a few women to ask for waxes, but with waxing, you have to be licensed cosmetologist or licensed esthetician okay. for the waxing because you're actually pulling hair from the skin. Body contouring, that's gonna be something I'm gonna put on for 2019, body contouring, because it's so many avenues of body contour now. I went to a conference, oh my gosh. Mobile, it's, it's a lot of stuff that could be geared towards body contour. So 2019, I will be uh, offering the body contour service, uh, training. Um, but be on the lookout for uh, I'm having a huge Black Friday special for eyelash extension training. Huge. Y'all heard that? It's gonna be Black unbeatable. Friday. Black Friday. So be looking out. <laughs> Shop black. Yes. <laughs> as far as the um with the classes that you offer, do you have any running now that they may can? Well, you know what? You can always. I always do one-on-one -on -one training <laughs> sessions. I always do one-on-one -on -one training sessions. And I normally do those on Saturdays. Uh, that comes with uh, your starter kit. It comes with you being trained by a licensed esthetician. Uh, being trained by a licensed esthetician, if the state of Alabama starts to crack down on these uh, certificates that's being given from people who train the people, mm -hmm. your paper, uh, you, it's going to stay it. Right, because your paperwork will be good. Yeah, your paperwork will be good. Um, ongoing mentoring. Even girls that didn't even go train with me, I still mentor them. Whatever questions they have, I still ask because I'm passionate about the industry as well. Right. You know, and passionate and not petty. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. So if you have questions about anything, I'm always available for questions. Uh, mentoring when it comes to this. Great. Yeah. Again, congrats on the grand opening Thank for the you. new location. Give them the address for the new location. The new location is uh, 602 Bel Air Boulevard, Suite 17. And our contact number is area code 251-732-3544. Y'all got that. Make sure you play it back if you didn't catch it. We'll also put it in the comments after we're done. Also, congrats on being nominated for Best Slash Tech for Star Wars at Lampton. You know what? I was so happy with and I'm not even there, but I still have clients. When you come back up, when will you come back up here? But again, my business coach should tell me I gotta stop thinking on my local level. Right. Because people be look that social media, people be watching all over. You they do. Me? They really do. They really do. Really, I've got people wanna be coming to Birmingham. You are you in Birmingham? I even have ladies coming down here from Fort Lauderdale. Uh what's the other place in like Tallahassee? Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Wow. Yeah. So they looking. Yes. So I have to be very mindful of that. That's why I'm very mindful of what, um, that's why I have a personal page and a business page. Yes. Keep personal, personal, business, business. business. And you know what? Sometimes, even on your personal, you kind of still have you to. You still have to. And sometimes when my clients request me on my personal page, sometimes I'm kind of. Right. You know, right, yeah, because I want to keep that client and right. relationship, you know. Understood, yeah. As far as okay, in closing, tell the people or the viewers something they may not know about you that you would like to share, oh, yeah. and something that may encourage and inspire an entrepreneur to get out of their own way. Ooh, the, the last question first, okay. The only person that stops you is the person that you look at in the mirror every day, and that's yourself. Um, it's no perfect way in starting a business. You just have to start. Right. You know, 
It's going to be some hiccups. It's going to be some failures. It's going to be some successes. But at the end of the day, it's going to all be worth it. A lot of things people don't know about me. Ooh. Okay, well, I don't know. What is it, y'all? That Oh, I'm a licensed, I'm a, I'm a LPN by trade as well. Their dad is, see? Yeah, I'm an LPN by trade. Because I didn't trade. know that. You didn't know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm an LPN by trade. And why I didn't go back to school to become an RN is because I really didn't want to be a nurse. But that's all I knew coming from over here. That's all I knew uh, coming from over here. And when I got to Atlanta, I knew that if I got in the medical field, when I would be at work, my son could be in daycare because my son was two. Uh -huh. And when I got in that field, I hated it. You hated it. You know why I hated it? Why? Because I saw so many different professions up there that I didn't know about. That you didn't know existed until I didn't you moved. know existed. That's why you got to move around. Yeah. That Don't I just know. stay in one place. But it paid the bills. Right. So, uh, that's, I guess that's it. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Give them give your social page, um, uh, outlets. Okay. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, anywhere they can find you, let them know. Okay, Instagram, we're Candy Lash. Just Candy Lash. C-A-N-D-I-L-A-S-H. On Facebook, we're Candy Lash 2. So, make sure y'all follow and like those pages. Also, make sure you like this actual uh, live video. And also share it if you don't mind. Um, these videos are placed on YouTube. So um, that is done after every taping or what have you. I do push, put them on um, YouTube. Um, as far as Business Awareness Thursday, if there are any entrepreneurs or businesses you want to see me speak with, feel free to inbox those businesses and those um, entrepreneurs' names to me and I'll reach out. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Again, all the the videos, all the interviews, they will be on there. Um, all you have to do is search under Kimberly Knight and it'll pop up. It'll be the Lush logo that comes up. I might change it to my picture just so people know that that is me. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, you type in Kimberly Knight, it'll come right up. Um, thank y'all again for tuning in. We will see you next Thursday. We'll post information in the comment area. And happy Friday Eve. Y'all have a great day. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> Hope to see you soon.